Hey guys, it's your boy again, Sheyi Emmanuel Adebayor, former Arsenal, Man City, Real Madrid football player. And um, you know, uh, World Cup is a special tournament. And as a player, we had a chance to play it in one of those. <clears throat> in one of those World Cup in 2006, I'm here to give you some professional tips about what's going to happen in between, uh, in between Croatia and Canada. World Cup 2018 running up, Croatia made a frustrating start to their World Cup 2022 campaign as they played out the goalies 0-0 draw. In that match, Croatia dominated with 64% of ball position and 642 completed passes. The Croatian had 6 goal attempts, less than Morocco 8, but couldn't score due to lack of a straight attackers in coach Dalish squad. Canada suffered a hard 4-1-0 loss to Belgium on Wednesday. Despite solid play, it is fair to say they were punished for missed chances. Canada ended with 21 shots to Belgium 9. Meanwhile, Alfonso Davies, their leader, their leader wasted a great opportunity for his team. He missed an early penalty. Why I think Croatia have more chances obviously because of um, um, uh, Luka Modric, a great player, play for playing for Real Madrid, who's on top of his game now. More he's getting old, better he became. So he's playing, he's playing very well. And I think uh, if you ask me simply, who I think will win against them, I, 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 who will win in the match in between Croatia and Canada, I'm definitely going to set or give it to Croatia and I can see them playing winning 1-0 it's going, to, it's going to be a tough game Canada will be defensively ready so I can see them I can see Croatia scoring one goal and I can see them winning 1-0 thank you bye